Hey friends and internet, I want to share an inspirational story with you about a friend of mine. And uh, um, it's really kind of cool because he started um, prospecting with very little money and very little equipment. And uh, he paid his way through it. And so it's something really cool that anybody can do. You can do it too. So um, let's jump right in. So a little bit of backdrop about myself. I started prospecting in the mid-1980s. Um, it wasn't the digital age back then. We didn't have internet and cell phones and forums and YouTube and Facebook and all that good stuff. So um, it was a completely different world when you're getting started back then. So fast forward um, to the 2000s. Um, prospecting forums existed since the you know 1990s and you know one medium or another. But uh, after you know about 2000, they really started to take off. And there's some really popular ones. There's some been some that have died out over the years. Um, but this story starts with a form and one of the forms back then um, Had an outing and some of the forms still do these outings. I know billet um, Nugget shooter does outings. I think twice a year and that's really cool a bill to bring people together same thing Exact same concept the form at the time uh, someone came on there and said hey I want to do an outing and uh, a lot of people got together during this outing and it was people from all different prospecting skill levels from uh, absolute novices and beginners to uh, people who've been doing it for quite a long time. So I went to this outing with a good friend of mine, Laszlo, who's also a veteran prospector. And uh, when we were up there, we uh, met this other guy and um, he was just getting started. He was very, very new to prospecting. He didn't have a lot of money. Um, so he hung out with us for the day. Um, he wanted to check out what the detectors were doing. And uh, so he, he figured out that he pretty much wanted a detector, but the lack of money, um, it forced him to start somewhere else. And he started with a 10 cent pie tin from a thrift shop. And so he took that 10 cent pie tin, and he started pinning gold up at Lynx. It took him about two weeks to get enough gold to buy an actual gold pan. And he either took the gold into the prospecting shop up there and traded it in or he sold it to him or something. But anyway, there was an exchange um, gold for actual gold pan. And, uh, you know, we, we liked this guy a lot and um, wanted to help him get started. So every now and then he'd, he'd come on a prospecting adventure with us when he could. We'd loan him a detector. And um, so he was able to get a little taste of, of detecting himself. And, he, and he, he, he knew he really liked it. So it took him about two years of going panning at Lynx all the time and coming detecting with us now and then, borrowing detectors, to find enough gold to actually buy one himself. And... Uh, he ended up buying a Mine Lab um, SD2100. Mine Lab, you know, makes you know some of the best gold prospecting detectors out there. They're just uh, you know they're great, and uh, I highly, I highly recommend Mine Lab uh, detectors. So he bought this uh, SDC, and this was probably around 2005, 2006, and it was used, and it came with some coils. So he had went from uh, having nothing, asking questions. Um, to a pie tin, to a gold pan, to borrowing equipment when he could, just to learn all he could, making friends, and um, just working his way up, saving the gold and buying the SD. So that was really cool. It took him about another year and a half to really get to know the detector and become proficient with it, to where you know he was super confident in it and he was able to find gold consistently. Um, but he did it, and you can do it too. So if you're sitting there and you're looking at the price of detectors and you're going like, like, hey, I don't know if I can ever afford a detector. I'm just getting started. I, I don't have anything. I don't have any money, really. My friend, and he's always inspired me, hope he inspires you too, he started with a 10-cent used pie tin from a thrift store and made his way up to a detector. And that is really cool. Hard work, determination, persistence, and patience. They always pay off. And you can do it too. Take advantage of the resources available to you. Um, forms. Facebook groups, you know, everything in the digital age is at your fingertips. Outings, kudos to Bill at Nugget Shooter for still doing outings. I mean, that's just super cool. I think Rob Allison still does them on Nugget Hunting too. I don't know. I don't keep up with what everybody's doing. Um, but Bill and Rob are both great guys and they have great forms. So use the resources available to you like my friend did. Ask questions, work hard, get your 10 cent pie tin, whatever that is for you, and you can make it happen. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you. Um, you can see behind me, this is a really great um, area, this creek. You can see some mountains up there. 
you might know where I'm at. It doesn't really matter. I don't care if you do or not. But uh, it's cool. There's been a lot of gold found back in this area. So I hope this, this story inspired you. Go get your 10 cent pie tin, whatever that means for you. Um, until next time, be safe, kids.